Okay, so in this problem, we're going to go ahead and we're going to solve linear equations. So I'm going to walk through this. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to undo parentheses. So we're going to distribute here and here, and we're also going to distribute the negative 4 inside these parentheses. So uh, 3 times 2x is going to give us 6x, and then 3 times negative 4 gives us negative 12, and then that's equal to... Um, negative 4 times x is negative 4x, and then negative 4 times negative 3 is a positive 12. So first step was to get rid of the parentheses. Now take a look at either side. We have 6x minus 12 over here, negative 4x plus 12. We can't really combine any like terms, so now we're going to go ahead and try to get our x terms on the same side of the equal sign. So let's move that negative 4x over to this side. So the opposite of that negative 4x is plus 4x, and then we're going to add 4x over here too. If you take a look, you see I put them kind of right on top of each other so I can um, really know what I'm combining. Uh, 6x plus 4x is going to give us 10x minus 12 equals, these cancel out over here, right? And then we have a positive 12 over there. Now, after we get our x's on the same side, we're going to undo any addition or subtraction. We want to get rid of this number and move that over to the other side, so we're going to add 12 and add 12. And over here, 12 plus 12 is 24, so um, on the left-hand side, we have 10x, right, because these went away, equals, we combine these, and it's going to give us 24. Now, the last step is just to get rid of the division, so we divide... This is um, 10 times x, so the opposite of multiplication is division. And those are going to cancel out, and let me go ahead and write this up here. On the left-hand side, since the 10s cancel, we just have x, which is we're trying to get x by itself. And then 24 divided by 10, um, I'll just go ahead and write that here, but we know that we can simplify that. Your calculator will do it, or we can just divide the top and bottom by 2, and we're going to get 12 fifths is going to be our answer for that one. Now I want to go ahead and zoom out in a little bit and just kind of show you the steps to solve a linear equation. So if you take a look um, right over here, you see that I've got those written out over here, and I, I followed all those steps. Um, first thing we did was we um, undid the parentheses by distributing. There wasn't any combining like terms necessary, so then we got the variable on the same side, and then we un we added 12. That's undoing addition or subtraction. And then we did undid the division by dividing both sides by 10. So we're going to follow the same steps. I'm going to bring these steps down here so we can kind of take a look and see what we're doing as we're going through it. But um, let's look at a more complicated one. So again, our first step here is to undo the parentheses. So we're going to, again, bring the two in there. And um, what are we going to distribute right here? Well, we're going to bring that negative sign or multiply by a negative one. Sorry, I'll zoom out a little bit more so you can see all those so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to distribute the 2 here, and we're going to get 2x minus 4. Again, we distribute, it's like distributing the negative sign or multiplying a negative 1. Negative 3, or negative times positive 3 is going to give us minus 3. And then this negative times a negative x makes that a positive x equals. And then we bring the 6 in here, and we're going to get 6x. 6 times negative 5 is negative 30 plus 3x. Um, now step two is to combine, so we did undid the parentheses, combine like terms on both sides. So take a look over here. You see we have a 2x and a positive x, so that is going to leave us with 3x, right? And then over on this left-hand side, negative 4 minus 3 is going to give us a minus 7. What we're trying to do is we're just trying to clean this up a little bit before we start moving stuff around. Um, and then again on the right-hand side we have 6x plus 3x, those are going to give us 9x minus 30. So I'm not moving anything around yet. I'm really just taking this big, ugly equation and trying to um, reduce it down. And now it looks pretty similar to what we had in the last problem. Um, we need to get the variable we're solving for on the same side. Again, we're trying to solve for x here. So I always move from the right over to the left. If you, don't, if you want to move the 3x over, um, you'll still get the same answer. But I'm going to get rid of this 9x. So it's a positive 9x. I subtract 9x from both sides. And we're going to get uh, 3 minus 9 is going to give us negative 6x minus 7 equals negative 30. 
All right. And now I'm going to move down to give myself a little bit more room. After we undo the parentheses, combine like terms, get the variable you're solving for on the same side. Um, sorry, that should say side, not site. Cross that out, fix that. Sorry about that. Um, now we undo any addition or subtraction, so I'm going to add 7 to both sides. And we get negative 6x equals negative 30 plus 7. That's going to give us a negative... 23. Um, last thing we need to do is undo any multiplication or division, so I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by negative 6, and we're going to get x is equal to, negative divided by a negative is going to give us a positive 23 over 6, and there's our final answer. That's about as many steps as we can have in one of these linear equation problems, but we really repeat the same patterns over and over again, so with a little bit of practice, you should be good to go with this.